Hi, I'm Nick Rocco, the Director of Operations Systems here at Aptera. How does Aptera get an idea from concept into manufacturing? Our amazing design team starts us off by turning concepts into 3D models for our engineers to detail. We all work together in a collaborative 3D space to build off the vehicle's A surfaces. Our system engineers compile requirements to develop use cases, activity diagrams, and specifications to all meet functional safety and homologation. Our engineers design parts, electronics, and write code for our vehicle's bill of material, which we call the engineering bomb or e-bomb. Prototype parts are built to print by our suppliers or in-house team. We integrate these parts into our development vehicles for testing, and our test engineers execute test plans to validate performance against our original requirements. Once a qualified design is released, our engineers build out our manufacturing bomb or M-bomb. The E-bomb is often structured by system and typically needs to be flattened out and restructured in an order of assembly. We use manufacturing process mapping to determine tack time and break up our builds into level loaded work centers to meet all our throughput targets. This allows manufacturing to plan out workflows, order machines, tooling, and material handling equipment. From there, supply chain can order parts for a seat into our warehouse. Planning can schedule builds based on demand, driven by reservations, placed online at our website. Then manufacturing of production vehicles can begin with full traceability back to our original concept and requirements. What tools are used to accomplish this? There are a lot of tools for engineering and manufacturing that all need to work together. We have industrial engineering design tools for building 3D models from concepts, model-based system engineering tools to capture requirements, system simulation tools for modeling expected performance, 3D CAD tools for mechanical design, analysis tools for physics model, schematic capture, simulation, and layout tools for electronics design, and a variety of software development tools for body controls, firmware, and infotainment teams. We use a product lifecycle management tool, PLM, to assign part numbers and version control, all our design files, which gets structured as our EBOM. The order of assembly MBOM is then loaded into our enterprise resource planning system, ERP. Reservation holders will have their vehicle's configuration converted to a sales order as part of our customer relationship management, CRM, and ERP software integration. This triggers ERP to create demand for your chosen vehicle. Our bill of material gets resolved from what we call the 150% or super bomb with all potential configurations down to your vehicle's chosen configuration or 100% bomb. This demand in our ERP system triggers supply chain to request quotes and place purchase orders for material being received into our inventory. Our planners can then schedule work orders to begin builds. Our manufacturing execution system, MES, is where our enterprise tools meet the factory floor. Intelligent manufacturing equipment on the line is seamlessly integrated with our MES and ERP systems. Work cells are triggered to build parts using pre-programmed machine profiles and capture manufacturing information like torque, temperatures, or image processing data, all automatically. We utilize a warehouse management system and advanced inventory controls to track material locations and meet line fill requirements based on point of use replenishment signals. The MES system assigns serial numbers, tracks material consumption, and maintains traceability through every level of assembly into the final vehicle's VIN number. These methods are used for all our sub-assemblies being built around the world and at our final assembly line here in Carlsbad. Where can we see this in action? You can see these systems in action right now at our solar facility. We rolled out this entire process at our fusion building. We've released parts using our PLM tools and executed solar panel builds using our MES system with full manufacturing traceability. Inventory levels are being managed and consumed on work orders. Panels are moving through operation sequences, capturing data along the way by serial number for next level assembly. This was seamlessly integrated into the solar line thanks to testing done here in the manufacturing simulation lab in parallel with solar panel development. 